Okay, Ruth. So after mm-hmm. exper- good experience with the product, but what did you do? Decide to become a sales master. Sales master. Okay, on the twenty six, uh, uh, Peter and Mike challenged me. Do you want to be sales master? Uh, beginning on the first uh, for two weeks, the first of August until the fifteenth. I say I I have to talk to my son and I have to pray about it because I I wasn't confident to go for it, right? So after that, I talked to my son Jonathan and and okay, mommy, go for it. And uh, Peter also helped me uh, with Peter was on my right down line and. Uh, or that was on my left online. They all helping me. Okay, so finally, uh, I did it. So it was amazing. I think one I have to thank the Lord for for He did it for me is and my son. He is the one who do all the computer for me. I'm an old lady. I. I don't know how to do the computer, right? So I say to John, if you can help me, for well, sure, I will help you. So Mike also support me, Peter, Odette, everybody helping me. Hannah also helping me. You see, sometimes when you in the group that is, um, you feel comfortable, you you close each other, you can pray each other to help you, right? So I've been through in two weeks, but uh, I was happy that I did it. I did it, you know, if it's uh, well, because a year before that, I was sick in the hospital for two weeks, I was gonna die. So anyway, um, I did share the hemo him, and I was was good. Thank God. <laughs> We're all happy for you. So while you're challenging for sales master, was there any um, like specific challenge or obstacles that you faced? Of course, you you calling people, so so many reject you, and even my best friend also rejecting me. Everything. <laughs> So I know uh, it's not easy, but again, with God's help, I did it. <laughs> so many rejection. Yeah. If you have learned something while you're challenged for sales master, anything you want to share? The, uh, I, Any lesson that you have learned? You have to purchase many, many PP. <laughs> it's not easy, right? Not easy. But I have Jonathan to, to help me, to support me. Mommy, go for it. You do it. You, okay. You, you, okay. You know, there's so many, so many uh, blessing. I have a very nice family, okay? That's it. Even my my son, uh, my I have two sons. One in China, one in here oh, with me. Oh, interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You have so, a nice own family, and you have a nice Atmi family too now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God for it. Yeah. So now you have achieved the sales master. What's your next goal? Do you have my any next goal? Yes. I like to help my downline to be sales master also. That's yeah. all I have to do it. Yeah. You got the concept of acting already, how to expand your business. Yes. Once you become a sales master, what do you need to do? You help your partners to become a sales master. That's you duplicate right. on it. Eventually you, your speech today is like an imperial master speech. <laughs> uh, I'm 76 day. years old now. Right? How old? Seventy six. Seventy six. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. Old you know what? Already. It's just really a number. Seventy six. I know. Tell but people that you're sixty seven. 
<laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. Anyone have any question to ask Ruth? It was amazing sharing. Thanks, Ruth. And your Hemohim, Hemohim sharing, I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people got inspired. I'm sure they got busy to share it to all the people they know too. They must take a Hemohim. Yes. Yeah, they must take the Hemohim. See, I just found out about the blood pressure just in May, this a few, a few months ago. That, oh, no more on hold. Uh, no more. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have to take it. Ruth, sorry, you're on mute. Can you just unmute yourself? Go, Go okay. ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Mike, go ahead with a question. Mike has a hands up with a question. Hey, Ruth, congratulations. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Thank so you happy to see help. you on the Zoom Thank meeting you. finally. No, I didn't help anything. I just helped you pray pray for you for your sales master so yeah i knew i know ruth and i've been sharing about ruth for so many times uh, during the meetings now i have the privilege to share in front of ruth herself <laughs> so i know ruth for so many i think over f uh close to 15 years and yeah we we had uh, like a cell group almost every week you know before so I know, I know Ruth's personality, like she is very uh, introvert. She doesn't like to talk to people, especially strangers. But ever since she's in Atomy, she always wanted to make extra income through Atomy. I know it's not for her, probably it's for her helping others. But she doesn't have the ability, when I said the ability, uh, when she wants to explain about the business or the products, right? because she only used the product, probably she doesn't know uh, what's in there, what's the benefit, but especially in the business, when people ask her, how can I make money? She probably didn't know how to, to explain deeply. So her effort in sharing Atomy, I can see her. I can see like she's very passionate in sharing. That's why every time on after the church service, she always grab me, Mike, come with me for five, 10 minutes, explain to another people, explaining about Atomy. Right, she wants to grow her business, but she got rejection. It doesn't mean one, two, three times after I explain and she got the downlines or the consumer. No, she didn't get it, but she didn't stop weeks after weeks, months after months, and then finally she got Peter. Peter was, I think, maybe That's how like he got me, <laughs> <laughs> like a big to fish to, uh, with a, with a net, paper. right, Peter. <laughs> Yeah, Peter, and suddenly Peter uh, spot the vision of Atomy, and he already experienced about the Hamlet, and right away his health issue get resolved. You can you can just watch YouTube, Google Peter Lim. He's everywhere about the Hamlet testimony. So Peter grows like uh, grow like crazy, and who benefits? Ruth. So right away, the weaker leg of Ruth become the stronger leg now. Now, now Ruth has to uh, work on the other leg, which used to be the stronger leg. You see, if you put the effort in anatomy, it doesn't matter you have the ability or not. If you, if you do have the ability, it's great, but it doesn't mean you have to have the ability in the beginning. But in the end, once you become the sales master, then you can achieve whatever you want after that. Because once you're already sales master, just like Ruth's goal, what's the next goal? It's to make her downline become sales master as well. So she's helping other people, right? She doesn't stay where she is right now and enjoying all the glory of sales master, no. But she's pulling each one and then she teach every one of them to become like her. Congratulations, Ruth, you did it. I was so amazed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for all your help. Ruth, we got a question. Since you talked about um, your Hemohim, Hemohim testimony, you got a question. How many sachet of Hemohim did you take? A day, sometimes three, sometimes two. Mm. So normally, do you, you, you usually take two? Yeah. And once in a while, you increase once to in three. Once in a while, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we answered that question. Is that enough? Yeah. I think that's enough, yes. We answered the <laughs> question because somebody put on the chat. How many Hemohim did you take it? 
So she was taking two, and once in a while, it has to be increased to three. So mm -hmm. if you're not really sure about hemohim, hemohim is not a medication, it's a food. So like I mentioned, I tried six because uh, the, the scientists, the scientists who actually created hemohim, they, they suggested you don't have to take it more than six. That's kind of enough for a day. So usually, you know, when we hear cancer patient who's going through the chemotherapy, radiation therapy, the reason we are recommending six because they really needed him or him, but not necessarily more than six. Because six is the kind of maximum you can take per day. Because even if you take more than six, let's say I have a lot of money, 114, him or him, no problem. I can take 10 a day. But even you take a 10, um, if you take 10 shashi a day, it, it gives you the same result as you taking six a day. So if you really want to take maximum, it's a six. Honestly, I have tried. I have tried. I believe it was the time that I had to, I have to present something at the seminar and I, I had a sore throat. So I got really scared because of course I cannot be, um, see on the stage. So I took six before and people didn't notice that I wasn't feeling, but I was kind of really jumpy on the stage and only, only disadvantage to me, I feel full after taking six hemorrhoids. <laughs> I feel really full. So um, if you haven't tried Hemohim, you shouldn't take one. You should at least, I mean, taking one, that it's better than not taking at all, but you need to take minimum two. And whenever you're feeling really um, down, I mean, you, you feel like you're coming down with a cold, you're feeling extremely tired, you can increase two, I mean, three to four. Okay. Oh, we have a hands up from Hannah. Hannah, go ahead. You are muted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, hi. Um, yes, uh, I would like to say, I want to add something about Ruth because I know because I know her uh, for so long, you know, she is my, one of my um, the church member in my, in my, in my church. And uh, I know she has a very humble person. He is a, is a humble person. She is a very have a kind heart, helping people. And she has a, one thing that I, I found from Ruth is she has a positive attitude. She has a positive, this is very important. You, you have a positive attitude, you know, and also she, have a, she is faithful also. She has a very faithful yeah. So. When, when I become a chase sales master, I ask her, uh, and then she uh, wrote, uh, I'm chasing her, um, you know, sales master would like to help me. And then she, she helping me to buy the hem for him, for me, right? So I was so very, uh, thank you. And sometimes, you know, as you know, right, as you say that sometimes uh, the one who, who is the close to you that this reject you and doesn't want to, you know, ignore you. And then, but sometimes you never know, like the other person helping you and then, you know, support you a lot. And then, you know, the things that when, when she, uh, I want to ask uh, Ruth something. Uh, Ruth, um, how many hemohim you have when you, uh, you know, how many hemohim you have left after you become a sales master? Can you got a lot of him or him. Huh? A lot, but I only have two left. Wow. See? Look at that. Only two left, yeah. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for your share. Oh. Oh, just a note, Hannah and Ruth, they are on different lines. So they are not on the same line. So, but they were helping each other when they were uh, challenging for the sales master. You see how the Atomy system, it doesn't differentiate you. Oh, you are my different line. That means you are my competitor. No, but if you coach your downlines uh, correctly, you teach them to work together, even if they're on different lines. Because you never know when you're going to need their help or when they're going to need your help. So just be kind to everyone and just be supportive to everyone. That's my motto in uh, growing my anatomy business. Right. That's good. Thank you so much, Ru Ruth. Are you free in the evening time? Join us every Thursday. <laughs> We we'll love to hear your stories, how you got rejected and how you were able to overcome. We always love to hear. Oh yeah, one more I... thing, Ari. Yeah. Oh yeah, since Ruth mentioned about many hemohim that she purchased, 
she was uh, she was uh, telling me that she had 24 boxes of Imohim. Then she was asking me, Mike, can you help me sell this Imohim, right? For me, because I have to be n neutral. I couldn't just say, okay, I will help you. But in the end, if I didn't help them, we will ruin our relationship as a friends. So I told her in advance, Ruth, as much as I would like to help you, I also have other downlines that need help, that their help, right? So I couldn't uh, just get the him or him through you and then to them, they also need the PV. But, you know, what you should do, this is sales master. You know why it's called sales master? You have to become master in sale. But Ruth came to me and, Mike, I don't like selling. I don't know how to sell. And, and that's why I told her, that's the time you get the new skill, which is skill of sales. Because everything is about sales. Even if you like it or not, everything about sales. In anime, it is a business, right? If, what, what do you do if you have a business? You will sell your products. You will sell your service to get consumer. Not just making new consumer, but retain those consumer. So I was coaching uh, Ruth about this, and then I was encouraging her, and then how this is how you talk to people, open your conversation, right? So you see, she, she, she mentioned it herself. She only had two boxes of him or him left out of the 24 of boxes. So that was really amazing. I think that was a big accomplishment with Ruth. Congratulations, Ruth. It was Thank amazing. Thank you so much, Mike. It's all you help. Also, you're welcome. Peter also helped me a lot. Thank you.